You're listening to Sports Connections with David Smale. Now, I've been around athletes my entire life. My uncles were Major League Baseball agents uh, for years and years. Um, and, and I've known an awful lot of athletes through the years. Individual success goes a long way, but team success is really what you strive for. So talk about 93, getting to the World Series. Uh, I won't ask you about the end of the World Series, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> then 97 being uh, on second base when the winning run was, when the hit that delivered the winning run uh, for the Marlins winning the World Series. Talk about your World Series experience. Um, unbelievable. And, and 93 with the Phillies was an unbelievable run. Um, and I got to play all six games of the World Series because uh, the Blue Jays had all right-handed pitchers too. Um, it was a, an experience I, I only dreamed about, you know, and yeah. in game two, I was able to hit a home run, um, which was really exciting. Um, I didn't hit many home runs, you know, during the season, um, 52 to be exact for all my career. And I got two bonus home runs in the world series. But, uh, the, the neat thing is, um, we won that game after the game was over. This is in Toronto. So it's game two. Um, I have to do the press conference. I'm talking about the home run for maybe five minutes. And then they asked me about Tourette for the next hour. So anyway, um, you know, when we got to, got to game six, we're winning the game. We have a chance to win the, win the game six, go to game seven. We felt we were going to win. And, and I have to, I, I don't mind the game six thing because, you know, our, our guy who lives over in Leewood, you know, Joe Carter. Right. You know, it's kind of funny because like, you can't even give him a hard time because he's a good guy. If yeah. kind of, uh, yeah. Joe's a really good guy. And he hits the home run, you know, and so we lose. And um, every, you know, it's been how long? This is almost, it, it's almost what? Yes, 28 20, years. Yeah. 28 years. So I see Joe at a lot of events around town. It's funny because people will come up and say, can you sign this? you know, World Series walk-off home run and blah, blah, blah. And and I'll just stand and Joe said, Joe, do they do you do this to pay these people to say that because you know that I'm right here? <laughs> and none of them even know that I was in right field when he hit the home run. Yeah. And I just remember running off. So anyway, it was what an experience, though, to be in a World Series. So four years later, I'm now with the Marlins and we're back in a World Series and um, – Game three, we're in Cleveland, and it's 32 degrees at game time, and it's, you know, snowed during batting practice. Um, hit another home run, which was really unbelievable again. Um, and then we, you know, we win that game. We actually get back to Florida, um, and we have to just win one game, you know, for the series. We lose game six and game seven. And I didn't start any of the games except – I was the DH in games uh, three and four okay. in Cleveland. Um, and so I didn't start the games in Florida. Um, but as you know, we get to the, this, this it's kind of, I, I love telling the story too, but we get to the bottom of the ninth. Um, we are losing two to one and we get a, we get a guy on base and, end up with, uh, let's see, one out, a runner, uh, Moises Alou is on third base, Craig Council is our second baseman and batting in the eighth position, okay, and the pitcher's ninth, and so our manager, Jim Leland, asked me to go into the on-deck circle, so Craig Council is up with a guy on third and one out, and we're losing two to one, and of course, he hits the sacrifice fly to right, Moises Alou comes in to tie the game. And now I'm pinch hitting for the pitcher in the bottom of the ninth in game seven of the World Series. <laughs> what every kid dreams of. Two to two game. Yeah. It, and that's all I could. You know, I went from, you know, I went from uh, before Craig hit his sack fly. I went from thinking I could strike out in the World Series. I could hit a double. I could hit him to a double play. I could do this and that. I could also hit a double. We could win the World Series. I could hit a home run. I could do, you know, there's yeah. a lot of things that were going through my head. As soon as the sacrifice fly happened, I had a free at bat. That's what I, how I thought of it. And, um, and Jose Mesa was the Indians closer. So he's on, he's pitching. And I'm, I'm totally excited. I'm thinking he's going to throw me, 
first pitch fastball, and and I all I could think about was doing the Joe Carter thing from four years old, earlier. And so, sure enough, first pitch, a little bit of a sinker, ground ball to second base, throws me out, innings over. We go to extra innings. So, and I stayed in the game at first base because in the National League we do the double switch. Right, right. And and so um, we don't lose the pitcher that way. Anyway, we. So I'm a, I'm a first baseman and, and I'm literally a fish out of water at first base, but, you know, did okay. So we come up into the bottom of the 11th inning and, and this is where it was, it was really kind of interesting. I'm coming up to bat again and we have runners at second and third. And so first base is open, you know, with one out and they intentionally walk me. So when I talk to people that don't know, didn't watch or don't know, it's like, yep, uh, they they uh, intentionally walked me in the bottom of the 11th and the 7th game of the World Series. And then I have to say, yeah, they would have walked my grandma too, you know, because that's that was what they had to do. Yeah. And so the next hitter is our, our center fielder, Devon White. It's a ground ball to the second baseman. They get the force at home. So bases are still loaded. I'm on second base. And, and as you know, uh, Edgar Renteria, our shortstop, hits the base it up the middle. Um, and Craig Council scores the winning run. I have to go touch third. You know, I have right. to at least go to third and touch third. And we just won the World Series. Unbelievable. That's like and, – and I, I use the um, – if you if you know the the old uh, boom boxes we have, you know, used yep. to have, and you turn the volume up as high as it could go, that's what – uh, the stadium felt like for an hour after that. It was unbelievable. A, a dream come true. And it, it got us this. Yeah. You know, it's like craziness. Unbelievable. Um, just one World Series. Do you, do you think you'll ever get tired of telling that story? Never. Never. <laughs> no. You, you, you know what's, what's really kind of cool, too, though, is in, in 14, the wild card game. Here, yeah. was on, I had my kid. I had three of my kids with me. I'd never seen my kids light up like they did. Yeah. The one thing I always wished is if they could have seen me play. But I, and I was older when I started having kids. So yeah. anyway, it's it was I, the wild card game was so much fun. And if you were there, you know, it was hopping. Thanks for listening to Sports Connections with David Smale. Make sure to subscribe, follow, and rate the show from your favorite podcast platform. You can learn more about David Smale and his work by visiting davidsmalebooks.com. Don't forget to join us weekly for new episodes. Until next time.